Now, perhaps you know or even think you might have had a blood transfusion in the 70s. Tell us about your mum. You also were aware... And our thanks, of course, uh, to Henry. Uh, just taking us through that sequence of events, clearly still very difficult for him to talk about. It's 22 minutes past six. Let's bring you up to date with what the papers... Are... Uh, good things come in small packages in The Guardian today that there is an um, installation at an uh, aff affordable art fair, Hampstead, uh, in North London, which is basically... They've mounted sardine tins <gasps> on the wall as an art exhibition. But they can be very beautiful. Who doesn't love a tin of sardines? Well, I do. Um, I did buy some tins of sardines when I was abroad once at the River Danube. But he liked fish and wine. So it's just a warning. Interesting, because we're going to be talking about polluted rivers, aren't we, later in the programme? So everything ties together on this programme, obviously. Uh, of course... Um, just because she has a different future now. Yeah, and who knows where... what they've done there could be used, you know... That's the... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Here we go. This is Mr Bright. ...of their mothers. We're joined now. The longest time in the charts without reaching number one, and I can tell you the answer. You're almost right. It's the biggest selling single. Never to reach number one. It's now you can tell us the answer. It's, it's all right. No, no, I, no, no, I don't like... <laughs>